Hertz. Yeah, I mean, you, you've sort of got previous with, with <laughs> Werner Herzog, haven't you? Because uh, was, there, was, there was a bit of a, a story about him being shot when he was with you, and I think he's been talking it up in the press, hasn't what, he? It, what's happened is, when I interviewed Herzog for The Culture Show a while ago for about his film Grizzly Man, we, I was interviewing him in Los Angeles, out on an open road, and in the middle of the interview, he got shot. He now has been telling that story and dining out, and every time he tells the story, he becomes more courageous, which I have to say he was, and we, the BBC, become more and more cowardly. It's like, oh, yes, they were ducking and running away, <laughs> but I was just standing there. To me, it is an insignificant bullet. Well, I think in the uh, mood of fairness and transparency that the BBC is embracing at the moment, we can all relive that as it actually happened right now. In Germany, uh, I've somehow left the paved road. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares about my films. For example, what's... What was that? We quickly realised that some wacko had taken a pot shot at us with an air rifle and Herzog had been hit. So this, ju this sorry, literally just happened when we were standing do outside on there. Camera. <laughs> and there was a noise and it was a whiz and you just said, I've been shot. You had, look, you're yeah, bleeding. Yeah. I think here yeah, somewhere, yeah. Look, you I mean, that's a, that's a somebody sh shot at you and created a wound in your abdomen. It's not not significant. The scariest thing about that is that when he reveals the bullet wound, it's hard not to go. But he's wearing paisley boxer shorts. <laughs> Werner <laughs> Herzog, the man who's been in the jungles of Peru, having wears paisley boxer shorts. God bless him. He likes a little bit of luxury underneath. <laughs> don't we all? Don't we all, Mark? <laughs> so what's next? Uh, also.